Hmm, Sundara, but cheaper, which isolates the sound better and is even easier to drive? Nope, not even close. Let's talk about it. But before that, I need to state one important thing. I'm really, really not a fan of their sound. These are so far my least favorite sounding headphones from Hyphoman. I wouldn't say that they're objectively bad, and I'll stay as transparent and objective in this review as always. Sundara Closeback is a closed back planar magnetic over your headphone. It features Hyphoman's stealth magnets technology for reduced reflection and diffraction, which supposedly results in a dramatically improved sonic output. It's also equipped with the Neo Super Nano Diaphragm resulting in fast response and detailed image with lush, full-range sonics, according to Hyphoman. We'll take a look at those qualities later. It used to be priced at $400, but it's been consistently on sale for $229, and I think at this point that is its regular price. Suntara Closeback has a suspension strap headband design, familiar with the one on the Ananda, or even the open back version of the Sundara, about which you can find a video in the top right corner. It doesn't swivel, and its adjusting mechanism is not the greatest, as it leaves scratches in the painting while adjusting. Either way, I still prefer it over the solid headband piece any day of the week, as I find it much more comfortable, as it gets rid of any hotspots on top of my head, which are present with the solid headband piece design. The ear cups can freely tilt and are made of this beautiful real beach wood, which gives them a fairly solid feeling in the hand, but also adds some more weight to them. It uses dual 3.5mm connectors located on the bottom of the ear cups. They are slightly tilted forward to improve the comfort, so the cable is not hitting your shoulder. The pads use three different types of materials, perforated protein leather on the inside, cloth-like material, likely polyester on the part that's in contact with your skin, and solid protein leather on the outside. We all know this approach to the pads from other hyphomans. However, there is something different this time. They use the different mounting style, which seems like it doesn't matter too much, but the Sundara closed back has a different on-head feeling for some reason. It feels almost like the pads are bigger than on the open back version. To clarify, it's a positive thing. They feel significantly more comfortable than the regular Sundara. I don't know what exactly is affecting that, likely the new mounting style, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Sound, especially their tonality, is the part I particularly dislike about this headphone. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any reliable frequency response graphs, and I am not going to provide you with any that could be misleading. So this time, we need to figure out something without it. Starting from the base, it's just fine. Nothing special at this price point. There is a significant amount of bass, it's definitely present, but it lacks in terms of detail. It's not particularly detailed. It doesn't sound quite bloated though, which is a good thing after all. I think that the bass was forcefully boosted, so the tonality seems a bit more fun or something like that. I'm not sure whether that is the case or not, but that's just what I feel like is happening. The mid-range is where the most issues come from. That's the main reason for my aversion towards this headphone, as it comes extremely mid-forward, more than I'm used to, and I'm not the only one that has an issue with that. Folks at Custom Cans in the UK figured out the cause of that mid-forwardness and found a solution. It's caused by the damping foam which is put behind the drivers, so they designed the kit to reduce the hump in the mid-range on the Sundara closed backs. They say that if you are finding them a little too mid-forward, this kit might be the answer. I've watched their video about this mod, including some frequency response graphs and sound tests, and I'm convinced. I'll leave a link to this product in the description. The highs initially had a feeling of a lack of detail, but after listening to these headphones for a while, as I always do with my evaluations, I think I know what's going on. We'll get back to that in the sound characteristics part of this video. Generally, the high frequencies don't have a lot of airiness to them, for sure. That makes them sound a bit darker than most other hyphomans, which emphasizes even further the mid-forwardness. The treble extension is also unimpressive. There were times where I felt like I would like it to go just a little bit higher, a little bit more, to achieve the desired amount of pleasure and fun in the song. Hyphman states that the Sundara Closeback has a huge soundstage. I cannot disagree with that. Well, maybe it's not huge, but still fairly large, especially for a closed back. Closed backs usually have a tendency to sound a bit more intimate than they do to sound wide, so I was pleasantly surprised by that. However, it doesn't sound very open, 
You can say that it's nothing unexpected for a closed back design. However, there are headphones that sound much more open throughout the frequency range than the Sundara closed back. Sound separation is at an acceptable level, nothing more. In some more crowded mixes, the sounds were slightly blending in with each other. That didn't happen too often, but we're not talking about a $100 pair of headphones. At the end of the day, these are $229. That's the part I was initially a bit disappointed in, but then realized that this headphone is not aiming in the direction where it shouts at you with all the micro detail. And if it is aiming for that, then it's failing miserably. I believe it focuses on letting you find most of the detail yourself rather than directly pointing them at you. So the details are mostly still there, but they are simply not as easy to perceive. You'll need to be looking for all the minor details in the recording to notice them. The dynamic range, including punch and slam, is a pleasant surprise at this price. It can't hit you as hard as let's say an Edition XS, OG H6 or most dynamic driver headphones, but I didn't feel like it was lacking in this department. Neither was I feeling like it was sounding sluggish or lacking in the decay. I usually correlate the lack of dynamics with the headphone sounding a bit boring. Here it does not take place. With an impedance of only 20 ohms and a high sensitivity of 98 decibels, it's extremely easy to drive. It's not amp picky at all, and basically everything can power it, even my phone. Going to a better source gear, there was a little improvement in the openness, digital retrieval and soundstage, but we're talking only about a minor improvement, nothing game-changing. As it's a closed bug, I feel that this part may be important for some of you. Speaking about an isolation of the external sounds getting into your ears, it does a decent job at higher frequencies, but gets worse as the frequency is getting lower. The effect of this is that everything that happens outside of your headphone sounds very bassy, lower pitched and muffled. But speaking of the isolations of the sounds getting out of these headphones, it's quite decent all across the frequency range. Not the best, but it does an okay job at that. Sundara Closed Back is an entirely different headphone compared to the Open Back Sundara. It even has a completely different driver that looks nothing like the one on the Sundara Open Back. Moreover, Sundara Closed Back manages to be mediocre in every single aspect that I care about. It's definitely not made for me, but if these characteristics aren't bothering you, then good for you. I'll leave a link to Hyphoman's website in the description.